Hello everyone! Today we have an exciting topic to dive into, the enchanting world of Slime Rancher 2. If you've been curious about this quirky and captivating game, stick around as we break down what makes it so unique, explore its new features, and discuss why I am personally excited about its release on the PlayStation 5. Alright, let's jump right in. Slime Rancher 2 is a fascinating blend of survival elements and a dynamic economy that evolves over time, influenced by your actions as a player, and of course time as well. This game is a direct sequel to Slime Rancher 1, and will be officially launching on PlayStation 5 on June June 11th, which very well could be today depending on how long it takes for this video to process. In Slime Rancher 2, you continue the adventures of Beatrix LeBeau as she journeys to Rainbow Island, a mysterious land filled with ancient technology, unknown natural resources, and a plethora of new, wiggling, jiggling slimes to discover. Beatrix's mission is to unravel the island's secrets and uncover its true purpose while building, ranching, and farming within a beautiful conservatory. The core gameplay involves collecting plorts, which are, well, slime poop. You feed the slimes, they poop. Feed them their favorite food, and they poop twice as much. If you feed one kind of slime a plort or poop from another, it becomes a larger fused slime, combining traits from both of the slimes it previously was. This can lead to some ridiculously cute combinations, and also some extremely challenging ones. Feeding these large slimes their favorite food can yield even more poop, allowing you to sell all that hard-earned slime poop for new bucks. The in-game currency. This currency is essential for upgrading your health, stamina, jetpack, and many other features. The lab from the first game will make a return, enabling you to craft new and exciting technology to automate your farms. However, this time, you'll be working with much larger farms, with new slimes that have unique behaviors, and of course, new diets to satisfy. And of course, we should definitely mention to be careful to not let too many different types of slimes do congregate in one place, as this can lead to the creation of a tar slime. These aggressive slimes can devour other slimes and even pose a threat to the player. Tar slimes are created when a Largo slime, the combination of the two slimes, eats a plort that is not of its own type. Once formed, they can wreak havoc on your ranch if not dealt with quickly, so stay vigilant in organizing your slimes and be cautious when exploring out in the wilderness to avoid becoming a slime meal. Now, also in Slime Rancher 2, we will see the introduction of the Pronto Mart, a brand new shop system for spending your hard-earned new bucks. The Pronto Mart kiosk offers two new storefronts. The Polestar Provisions sells blueprints needed to craft gadgets, while the Cuckoo Corner offers daily deals on both decorative and functional gadgets. These shops not only expand the variety of items you can use to customize your ranch, but also add a strategic element to your shopping, making every visit to the Pronto Mart a potentially exciting opportunity to find rare items and even just a great deal. And the best part is these slimes can actually interact now with a lot of different gadgets, leading you some really, really cool behaviors and just funny, funny moments. Additionally, the update sees a return of slime toys, including some old favorites from the original game, and these will help keep your slimes entertained, and more importantly, it'll be crucial for maintaining their slime happiness and their productivity, because if they're not happy, they tend to get riled up and they try to break out of their cage, and this, of course, will create lots of chaos and potentially lead to the creation of tar slime. Also, in Slime Rancher 2, there is a new area that has been added to the player's home base, the dig site. This provides additional plots for corralling your slimes and building other functional structures. The aim with this update was to let players truly customize their ranching experience. Slime Rancher 1 was a pretty linear path, which led to a pretty strict progression path. However, Slime Rancher 2 offers a much more creative expression and a dynamic play space where your slimes can do more than just eat and produce valuable poop for you to sell. And this freedom encourages players to experiment with different ranch layouts and slime combination, which will make each of your playthroughs feel unique and engaging and have you coming back for more and more, even if you've already beat the game. And as previously mentioned, there will be plenty of new slime types, new foods, and new behaviors for everything, which of course will come with its own set of challenges and rewards, and of course, unique discovery and exploration. And that about wraps it up for the video. I hope this breakdown has you just as excited for the game as what I am. Let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to most in Slime Rancher 2, whether it's the new slimes, the Pronto Mart, or the expansive new areas to explore. And lastly, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you're not already.